Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's uh, really good to see you guys. I am uh, Pontus Sjölund, the uh, main producer of this format, and I am extremely proud to present to you the fifth season of Perch Pro. So, kind of like five, six years ago, we realized that our most common species we have here in Europe and Sweden, the uh, perch, was uh, really underrated when it came to sport fishing. I mean, people sure fished for them, but it was mostly like while waiting for better pike weather during the summer with quite basic gear, basic techniques, and no one really called themselves a perch angler. There weren't any perch fishing competitions, there weren't many fishing films made about perch fishing, and uh, yeah, it didn't really have the status uh, that we thought it deserved. And that's why we started Perch Pro. Well, I think it's safe to say that a lot has changed since then, and we are so happy to see so many of you guys fishing for perch with passion. Before we get this show rolling and meet all the teams and all that nice stuff, I want to go through a few changes in the format and the rules. And the first change for this season is that we have moved the filming from the fall, but now we have filmed it in August. This means that when you see this on YouTube, it was filmed only like three weeks ago. The second change is that instead of the weight of the biggest fish, the uh, big fish point will now be decided based on the length of the three longest perch. So it's gonna be fun to see how this changes their tactics. The uh, final change for this season is also the favorite change of mine actually. I think we can all agree that there's nothing more fun when it comes to perch fishing or fishing in general than a cool top water take in slow-mo. So therefore, we have implemented a new point for this season called the top water point that will be given out at the end of the competition to the team who have caught the longest perch on a topwater lure. Now I'm gonna leave this over to the five teams competing in this season, of which we have quite a few new faces as well. We're really happy to have you watching and I hope you will enjoy this season as much as we did filming it. Enjoy! The first team out is Vision Fly Dressing with Daniel Bergman and Stefan Jensen. This is their fourth year competing and what's so special with these guys is that they're only fly fishing. That might sound a little bit crazy to you, but it has been proven before that fly fishing is highly effective when it comes to perch fishing. The second year they participated, they did not only catch a yellow perch, they also managed to win the whole competition. This year they went far up north in Sweden, to new fishing waters untouched by other men. Will this be the right tactic to win this season? Let's hear what they have to say about it. Okay guys, the fly guys are back. <laughs> Perch Pro yeah. 5. It's gonna be awesome. We have gone quite far up in the country mm -hmm. and found an awesome lake. Uh, it has some really nice fish in it and a good test fishing. Uh, we had some really good action yesterday. You caught a beautiful fish of 49 centimeters on a popper. Yeah, oh, 47. So, for, uh, uh, sorry. 47. I'm gonna take the 49er today. We haven't spent a ton of time on the lake, but mm. we had time to, to map it up and found some really nice fish. Mm. And uh, above all, we found some really nice fish eating topwater flies a lot of surface activity. So that's what we're really, really hoping for. Okay, let's head out mm -hmm. and get this yeah. stuff started. And Ganke and all the other teams, watch out because the fly guys are on it again. Also, up in the northern part of Sweden, we can find the winners of last year's edition of Perch Pro, Team Sporting. This year, the owner of the tackle shop, Stefan Nilsen, will compete with his media manager and store employee, Christian Berger. Stefan Nilsen, also known as the Crazy Dane, has been in the sport fishing industry for a long time. He owns a big tackle shop in Örebro, and this is the third time he's fighting in Perch Pro. 
His partner, Christian Berger, fished mainly for pike and perch. He began his fishing career by starting his own YouTube channel when he was young and with two other friends making some humorous fishing videos. Last year, Team Sporting caught the longest perch in Perch Pro history with a total length of 50 centimeters. Time to meet the guys. Hello, I'm Stefan Nielsen. I'm the owner of Sporting in Örebro. And this is my third year on Perch Pro. Uh, my name is Christian Berger and I work for Stefan in the shop in Örebro. And this is my first time in a concept like this and Perch Pro. We are up in the north of Sweden on a lake and uh, we've been pre-fishing three or four different waters up here for the last days. The big problem up here this year, there is no water nowhere. Lots of lots of the lakes are really low on water and it's really difficult to get the boat in some of the ramp. We tried the river, there was no water at all. So lots of the things we had, had in mind were to fish. It was really not possible because of the really low water up here. So, we decided for this lake and uh, we go all in here. I'm excited to be a part of this. Uh, it's really fun. We have fun test fishing and uh, now we will do a good competition and make it hard for the other guys. We will do our best and keep the trophy in our shop. Let's go. Not far away from Team Sporting, we find CWC fishing team with Evert Ostam and Adam Orre. CWC team have been competing in five seasons of Perch Pro. Last year they caught the heaviest perch in Perch Pro history with an amazing weight of 2.2 kilos. Evert Ostam is an ex-military man from Netherlands. He loves Sander, although not when competing in Perch Pro. He's always super excited guy, structure and he never quits. Adam Orre was previously unknown to the international fishing audience, but after being picked up by CWC, he's well on his way. Good morning to you all from the beautiful country Sweden. My name is Evert Ozan. I'm here with my fishing partner Adam and I think uh, our team will rock to the moon and back. Well, look behind me, it's beautiful weather, flat calm. In my opinion, uh, perfect conditions for perch fishing, especially for the topwater uh, lure fishing. Uh, yeah, well, you, you guys, you know me. I'm always excited, ready to go, and uh, I hope I can give you a good show. What do you think about that, Adam? I think we have a good chance at catching the really big ones today and tomorrow and Wednesday. So hopefully we uh, will play our cards right. I love fishing perch. That's probably my main goal, fishing. I do love pike fishing almost as much, but the perch got something to it. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, bro. We got this. <laughs> it's time to leave Sweden and meet the newest team in the competition. Team Fox Rage Salmo with Sylvian Lejean and Vincent Tobi. Both of them are known to the international audience as highly skilled anglers with many years in the trade. They are fishing in Vincent's home waters, a big lake in the Netherlands. Sylvain is one of the most famous anglers in France and he has participated in many tournaments. He got international publicity when he caught an enormous pike of 139 centimeters in the Alps. You may have seen the pictures. Vincent Tobi is a hardcore perch angler. His longest one is an incredible 54 centimeters. Time for Sylvain and Vincent to introduce themselves. Hi everyone, we are team Fox Ridge and uh, Salmo. Um, I'm Sylvain Lejean, Fox Ridge brand ambassador and I'm from uh, France. And my name is Vincent Tobi, I'm from the Netherlands. So we are really uh, excited for our first uh, participation to, to Perch Pro and uh, for that we choose uh, to come to, to Holland, to the Volkerak. Exactly. Uh, Vincent knows really well this water and it's, uh, it's a good lake for Perch. Yes, it is. Yes. The pre-fishing was very hard but we are very excited to fish this tournament. So I've been fishing uh, in tournaments for 15 years, I mean predator fishing tournaments, but I basically love all kinds of fishing, uh, maybe with a preference for trout fishing, but uh, yeah, any kind of fishing is good. I've been also a tournament fisher and I love fishing for pike and perch. Also this year I caught 54 centimeter per perch on this lake, so I'm very excited to fish this tournament. Vincent, it's time to go fishing. It's uh, almost eight and we all start at the same uh, time, so let's go. Let's start. On their way to the water is Freddy Kulian and Mark Potowski, representing Team Elix Ganki. 
what they don't know is that Team Fox Rage just launched their boat on the same spot. <laughs> That's our spot, okay? <laughs> we were first. That's shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, not true, I think, but oh, fantastic. Oh. Frederick Juliano participated in Perch Pro for years. He's always done great, but the trophy has always been a little bit out of reach. Maybe this is your year, Fred. His partner, Mark Potovsky from Germany, is new to this competition but has experienced as a high profile angler. Time to meet Ilix Ganke and see what they have planned for this season. Hello, guys. My name is Mark Potovsky. I'm a new team member for Perch Pro and Ilix Ganke. And I'm very excited to fish today with Fred for some big perch. I'm Fred Julian in the Gunky team. It's uh, a pleasure to have Mark on board this year and uh, we're going to make it. Yeah, anyway, let's go. What an amazing starting field. We might say this every year, but this will truly be the toughest season of Perch Pro ever recorded. Every season, more and more skilled perch anglers are joining in for the competition of becoming the number one perch pro in Europe. Before we start the competition, let's summarize the rules very quick. The teams will fish for three days and every day the team that has caught the most amount of fish above 30 centimeters will get one point. Furthermore, the team that has caught the most centimeters for the three longest perch will also receive one point. At the end of the competition, we will also give out an extra point to the team that has caught the longest perch on the top water lure. Time to start the battle. So it's eight o'clock. Let's get this show on the road. First cast of the day. First cast. Game on! <laughs> I think one of us is super excited. First cast of Perch Pro 5. Good luck to everyone. Yes, first cast of the first uh, day. I'm excited to fish and hopefully we can find the perch. First, first cast. cast. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have a really big uh, shallow part of the lake up here and we uh, used Auto Shard to, to map it up and it's been mainly around this uh, really big shallow part that it's like a football field big. Uh, that's where we had most of the action. Objective today is to fill up this beautiful guy. 60. Is it enough? Is it enough? Look at all the bait fish. It's ridiculous. What are you starting with? Uh, a little minnow. Minnow, yeah. So the famous first cast. I got quite a good history in catching a catching fish on the first cast, but now it's over. Good. Yeah. There we go. Good, man. Damn, second cast. <laughs> That's not good. First fish of the competition. Unfortunately, it's too small. Yeah, we need them bigger. Yeah. Sadly enough, not approved, but still the first fish. Let's put them back. As you may remember, the rules state that the perch need to be above 30 centimeters in order to count. Hard but fair rule. Not exactly what we are <laughs> looking for, but... Right. It's the first fish you Not the first fish, yeah. by the way, yeah. It's good. Let's go for a bigger one. Yeah. So as you know, we are in the Netherlands, um, on the Volkerak Lake. It's a very difficult time of the year because it's, it's super hot. The water turns uh, completely green. So water temp is 27, something like that. We start in quite deep water, not deep, but four or five meters uh, to try to find those fish who are uh, swimming around. Bed fish from the year is spread out everywhere in the lake. So it makes it a bit difficult because the, the perch has, are, well, middle water a bit everywhere. So that, that's a bit complicated. Nice one. No. No? Also no, no. small? Yeah. The strike was, uh, was okay, but that's a baby perch. Our plan is to go for the big fish point because there are huge perch here on this lake. The numbers isn't the option for us. And yeah, we have to try uh, to hammer it on the, the big ones. It's, it's not easy, but we have to do it. So it's hard to, to um, choose the perch, I mean the big ones, 
because the fur edge, the, the, the pre are just like that. So I'm using a seven and a half centimeter pro shad on a 10 gram jig head. So that's quite a finesse technique. So I use a, a Terminator Pro Linear Light Spin, which is a, quite a soft rod. It's a 721, but with, with a soft tip. So that's uh, really adapted to that um, perch fishing. We haven't heard uh, Frederic, so he should be uh, fishing close to the, to the ramp, I think. Uh, right now we're on the first spot. We are targeting some deep, rocky places we found in training a couple of days ago. And we found some really good fish on those spots. Hopefully they are with us today. Up in the northern parts of Sweden, Team Sporting are fishing a deep edge and are catching the first approved fish in the tournament. Biggest of the day. Biggest so far. I'll show how long it is. These guys are only 33. There is uh, quite a few under the boat, yeah. You can see all the orange is fish. We think that CWC and uh, uh, the vision guys are up here in the north of Sweden somewhere. We actually think that uh, Adam and Evert is pretty close to us. They could be just around the corner. There are so many lakes up here, so they can be in any lake there is. This is uh, sheep fishing socks. This is happy socks. It's happy socks. Everyone knows you catch more fish in socks. Hey, small follower. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're fishing a, um, a edge of uh, a really shallow bank and the edge of this where it drops down to become close to 15 meters, that's where we found the fish. So the fish is packed up against the edge and on the shallow bank we have a, a lot of structure so during pre-fishing we found similar locations that have been producing really big fish both on top of these shallow areas but also on the deeper ends. Hey, first perch! The first one of today. It's too small, but happy with it. So what just happened is that I had a couple of small bites. And there was another one. And Ewert, here we go. Ewert lost one and got one on. He just lost one, there's one again. And what I let it do is, when I have a strike, is let it fall dead. And you might get the fish back on. They are tail nibbling. If, if, the pie, uh, the, if the perch is not really active, they grab the tail like this and they pull your lure and you see it come off. Oh, big one. Nice ones, nice ones. Cast out your lure. It's right there. Maybe it's not a 30 fish, but it's my first perch of the day. Congrats. Thank you. I, uh, Mere humble angler. We got this fish at 27. So just a bit short. Bye, buddy. That's the thing. When you get in a bit shallower, you find a huge amount of fish, but usually they're not the biggest ones. Today it's a wind uh, drop. There's no wind, no current. So we might change the vibration. So I was on a V2 Vib. Now I'm going to use a tipsy. And then after I'm going to use a uh, well-known shad like the G-Bump or the Grubby Shad that get a lot of vibration. So I'm going to test different vibration much more fast and try to see if I, if I can find uh, some bite and some activity by changing the vibrations. Woof! I heard surface. There we go. There's quite a lot of fish feeding in the surface in this area. Uh, so our tactic is to fish with sort of minnows until we see surface activity and then we hit them with poppers. I didn't really reach it. No. Nope. Top water action right away. That's awesome. While test fishing a couple of hours yesterday, uh, we caught a 47 centimeter uh, perch on the popper uh, on the top water fly. And hopefully that could be enough if we catch one more of those uh, to get that top water point. I think we lost our moment. Yeah. We'll be ready for the next time. We go to another spot now. Yeah, the first half an hour we didn't catch uh, any normal perch. Only small ones, so we have to move. Oh, I missed it. 
Oh. Ready? Yeah, what a good strike. Really good strike. Shit. First cast on the, the second spot. Oh, <laughs> look at the shed. It was a good bite, but... Oh, again. No way. And again. It's a big school. I'll take a smaller lure because I had some strikes, but I didn't... I didn't set the hook. I think the lure is too big, but we have to try it. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Ah, the first one. It's our approved fish, I think. Our approved perch. And is he over 30 centimeters? Yes, he is. 33? When you're fishing lakes like this here over the north, the bird is a very important thing. When the birds chase the small fish, that means that the perch are chasing them from underneath the surface and the bird chase them on the top. So when you see when they hunt them at the surface, then you have got to go there, then there'll be fish there. You got another pike? A perch? Not sure yet. I'm guessing pike is too heavy to be a perch. Stefan has been the one catching all the pikes during the pre-fishing, but this is my third today. Go back and grow big. We will drive around and try to find bigger fish. There's a lot of bait fish on the zona. There's a, there's a stack with bait fish, but there's no perch hunting. Not at all. It's only Small ones up in the surface and a lot of pike right here. We already lost five baits in half an hour. And I hadn't have cut, hardly cut any perch at all. So we move around a little so we can find some little big better spools. Okay, so we caught this big fish. We just caught it on the piglet craw. It's a new product for 2019. This fish is a beauty and it's fat. And we caught it on a method we've been working on. Is that you raise fish on a small crankbait and the big ones will follow the small fish or the minor fish that is hooked on the small crankbait. They get all interact, you know, they're up there. So we had yeah, this technique off. a bunch of times and it's going well. When you fish for perch and when it's slow, don't blame the fish. Blame always yourself. What do I mean with that? If you blame the fish, you will keep on fishing and ah, the fish is not active or whatever, whatever. Change lures. Change. Oh, big one. Big one. Get the net ready. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a giant. This is a heavy fish as well. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, Here ready. she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. In Boom! In the net, Bo! Bullseye! Bullseye, man! Bullseye! <laughs> 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 You're my friend, net master. Oof. This is a big one. Look at this. You touch the bottom with the piglet craw. Boom, shakalaka baby. This is a big one. So we have this fish on. Boom, baby. 43. 43? Yep. CWC fishing team have dominated the first hour with two good fish. 41 centimeters and 43 centimeters. The teams can fish for three more minutes then they must write down their score in the papers for the first hour. We got nothing to report, but it's a beautiful day. Top fish. Nee, nee, nee. Number this hour. Zero. <sighs> Hopefully it will pick up a little bit. What do we have? Zero. And we need to go from zero to hero. Anyway, not a surprise. We don't yeah. go for numbers, huh? right? That's true. We need three, four good fish in the day. That's all we need. Which team are the most scary one? Ugly we know, but scary. <laughs> I think all of them. Yes. Nice. Point fish on the, near, on the top water. Nice, bro. <laughs> okay, first, first fish for me, a counting fish, so to say, and 
Besides of that, it's caught on a surface lure. It's a Strike Pro Walker. It's from Walk the Dog. And it's a beautiful action. Birds love it. And it's measured 34. Boom! Boom, shakalaka, boom. Boom. Yeah. Oh! Like a rocket. Boom. <laughs> Well, that's also fishing, guys. While Everett is starting to catch them on top water, Team Fox Raid Salmo have problems with too many small perch taking their lures. There's a lot of fish on the drop off. Oh, you see. Small ones. But I choose quite a big, big, uh, big hook chunk, big hook, so that just to avoid the small ones, just to to swallow it, you know, because I have a lot of bite from, from the small perch and choosing that, that big hook chunk is limiting, limiting the, the number of very small ones uh, catching the lure. So I have, I have the strikes, I have the small bites, but they don't, of course I don't strike, I don't set the hook when I feel those small perch biting, but at least with the big hook they don't, they don't swallow it. But I think there are also bigger perches in that school. Because, yeah, I, had a, I feel hard strikes, but not, not, not only small ones <laughs> like this. I really hate this uh, green stuff. Um, it's only on the surface, but uh, it seems that fish doesn't like it a lot either. Oh, this one will be, will be good, I think. Yes. Ooh. And? Not bad. Okay. That's 31 on something. Nice uh, job, Sylvain. That's small, but that's better than nothing. I wonder how many hundreds the other teams have in the, in the Nordics. <laughs> I think they probably reach the 200 mark. Yeah, this is a decent one. Oh, yeah. It's the biggest one. Absolutely. Should I crank? No, this was the Jig. On the Kunkichi bump. Yeah, let's see how long he is. Let's see, he's 36. Let's go back. Team Sporting are clearly going for the numbers, and after an unsatisfied first hour, the fish has finally started to bite for them, and the mode has changed completely in the boat. Doot, doot, doot. Another one bites the dust. You! No! <laughs> Another one bites the G-bump. Another one bites the G-bump. <laughs> Yeah, another one bites the deep up. Wow. This doot, is also doot. a good one. <laughs> this is the fish we were looking for. Whoopty! Nice one. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Biggest Whoa. of the day. That's a good one. This is 37. That's nice a, one. It's the biggest yeah. fish though. 37, huh? 36. Pretty fish, huh? The G slide head from Gunky. And the uh, color here on the, the also con gunky baits is G-Bump. This is uh, Brown China. It's a super nice one. I, I just caught a perch and I'm pretty sure a pike took it. Yeah, this is a pike. This is cool. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one? Yeah, I think this is a big one. There's really big pike in this lake. I just want to see this before he lets go of my perch. Take it easy then. Uh, I think Dude. he already dropped it, yeah. Oh, we got a big perch. Yeah, it's a good, good perch. And a pike had this in his mouth. You can see the bite marks here. <laughs> you can see here in the sun, it's a torn scales. And the bite marks is like that wide. Probably a meter pike, not a monster, but I couldn't move him much. He will go back. Let's hope the pike leaves him alone this time. We just arrived on a new spot. Again, seven meters, uh, some uh, fish on the sauna. I'm going to use a um, kind of low action shad. So a small tail, a lot of uh, tiny vibration. Is, uh, called the, it's called the V2Vib, Gunky V2Vib. And I'm going to drive it really slow next to the bottom, like a no action uh, uh, drive. Fish on! Told you. Told you. I'm really not sure if it's a perch. If it's a perch, it's freaking solid. It's coming and it's a zander. No, it's a fucking perch! 
thought it was a small thunder. That's that's a fifty. Like this. That's a fifty. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I love when a plan goes well. So it's quite hot. We first wetting the board. Don't lose it. Let's bring him in. This piece. Okay, put it on. 48. 48. A very important fish for Ilex Ganke. A 48 centimeter perch is a great fish to start the competition with. They only need two more big fish because, as you know, this year the team with the longest combined length of their three top fishes will get the big fish point of the day. Man! Fred! Set for the fish! So, just in time for the second report. That's it. 48. So, top fish number one, 48. Don't have fish number two, no fish number three so far. Two hours, two hours to go, yep. one fish per hour, and we are done. Okay, agree. Let's, make it. Let's do it. Yes! Well, that was awesome. Yes. 48. That's what we are looking for. Yeah, exactly. And you see, <laughs> fish finder, well, yeah. well, our friend for this one. We saw the fish in seven meters of uh, water, some balls of bait fish on a small bump. We target this, uh, this fish by casting uh, towards them and it works. It's 10 o'clock and uh, we still hadn't, we haven't got anything good. We actually haven't got a fish in the book yet. Oh, dead quiet. Oh, fish on. Our first counter. It's the clicker, maybe. It's our first clicker. It's yeah. going deep. Oh, it might be quite big. Need help? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah, bring the net. Yeah. It's a good fish. Great, that's what we came for. Whoa! It's taking line! <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just keep it, keep yeah. it. Oh, that's oh. a very good fish. Wow. <laughs> All of a sudden! <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a very good fish. That's a good first clicker. That's the size we came for, mate. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a beauty. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All of a sudden. Well done. Get it in the water. I changed to uh, Martin's minnow DNA, just DNA fiber version. Sinks fast, really slim. Time for the measure board. It's looking A OK. -okay. Moment of truth. Pinch, pinch the tail. 44. What's up against? Yeah. yeah. 44. Yeah. <laughs> I am fat. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Stefan is going for striptease and we have birds diving right in the front so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for a top water lure and see if we can get a point. Look at there the birds are chasing like crazy over there. The perch are hunting now. Just Don't we just love that? Nice one! This is a good one. I get a nice one here too. Double hook. Double hook up! This is as I said 38 centimeters. This lake it's kind of very special because they feed on different uh, bait fish. Some of them feed some smaller ones, some of them feed a bigger one. Look at this one. This is almost blue. Look at his, it's almost green. See that? See the huge okay. difference in the colors of the birds? Yeah. This is almost bluish and this is all green. So the one, normally the one who feeds uh, on one specific kind of bait fish get more blue in the skin and the other one who meets more roach and stuff get more green and get more orange. It. You see the fins? It's more orange. This is it's orange, mine is almost white. 
Both Team Sporting and Vision Fly Dressing are doing great up north in Sweden, but CWC Fishing Team, who had the best start, are having some problems getting the fish to bite. We have uh, no fish in this hour, sorry to say it. Our total length of the three biggest fish is still 119 centimeters, so 119 centimeters. So we are having a bad hour, but yeah, that's fishing. We catch, like you see, a lot of uh, nice perch, but it's all too small. No uh, bigger than 30, but hey, that's fishing. We keep on hammering, guys, and see you for the 12 o'clock report. Down in the Netherlands, Team Fox Raid Salmo are finally hooked up with something better. That's nice job, my friend. Well, wait, wait, he's not in the net yet. But it's a good, it's a big perch. Okay, but we find the fish. 100% the big perch. Is it perch? Is it perch? Is it perch? Oh, oh, shit! Fuck! What is... It, it was fighting like a perch. Yeah, no problem. You know, like... Do, 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 do. Ah, shit! Small pike. Nah. I, I was hoping for a big perch because I felt, you know, the head shake, typical head shake from, from good perch, and uh, it was not, obviously. It was a pike, so a little bit of, a little bit of adrenaline, so that's uh, not bad. I'm al almost never, you know, fail in recognizing a fish, but... Oh, but I saw your rod, and he has the typical... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was like a, like a big perch. Keep casting, so bad. That's what Your I next do. Next one will be a good perch. That's what I do. That sucks. So we're gonna move to another spot because we are discussing with uh, Vincent. So Vincent thinks uh, we have the right tactic, but we need to find a good spot. Yes. I think we have the wrong tactic, and we are running from a spot to another. So we will see. Uh, if we can find them. Yes, I, find I think too. finding is the most important thing uh, right now. Okay. Finding, yeah. So let's uh, search. Yeah. If we don't search, we can't... Uh, exactly. We can't complain not to, not to find. A few more meters, I think 100 meters to the right. So we have to start there. It's uh, greener. It's a spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a greener spot, so... <laughs> Much more green. Uh, Sylvander doesn't like it, but... Yeah, I like the spot and... Uh, yeah, we, we called also a good perch, Sylvain, in the green stuff. I know you li don't like it, but... I believe yeah, he's laughing it. now. <laughs> yeah, show me. I will show it. Okay, now, cool. Thank okay. you. We have just seen a boat uh, moving fast, but we weren't sure it was Frederick until the boat started to jump from a wave to another, full speed, full throttle. So we said, yes, this is Frederick, no doubt, as he's the one who always goes full speed, from one point to another to another, so that it was it. Well, it's, it's still running. We can we can hear him. <laughs> he will burn all his fuel. That will be a good day. Oh, shit! Popper, 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 popper. Uh, look at that! Whoa! Duck! Oh, that's what we want. Yes. All the whole it's surface is actually exploding with fish just suddenly. Oh, for real, this is sick. There's just, just a monster feeding frenzy at the moment. They're absolutely hammering, but we haven't had success yet. Come on, this is our chance. It seems like they're just, they're just a bit too far away for us to reach them. I'm a new law. Uh, there's shit everywhere, uh, everything gets tangled. Uh, it's frustrating when you get such a good opportunity and oh. nothing works. Oh, that's right beside oh. the popper. Nay. Nay. 
that was that chance. Yep, and we fucked it up. Oh, we probably had the uh, the best opportunity that we could ever get. Uh, to begin with, the fish were a, were a bit too far away for us to reach them. And when we finally got them within range, everything got tangled and stuck. And the few casts that, that were placed right, they didn't get they didn't get taken. So um, yeah. Small boat, way too much yeah. crap. But you know what? We're not giving up on that top water point. <laughs> no. You see right here? There's a small spool right there. Not very big, but there's a lot of fish right there. So they're standing 10 meter on the left side of the boat right now. It's a little bit searchy. When you're fishing lake like this, it's running and gunning. You find the fish, you catch a lot. You lose the fish, you catch nothing. We and don't have to search anymore. And you got to search. Now we, you see, we find the fish right here. Look here, I show you, come up here. Right here they are now. See, in the middle of the water between four and eight meters, you have the fish. So it's not, check them out. If it's only bait fish or is it feeding perch. I always, when I start searching, I use this bait a lot. This is a tree gun. It sinks really fast. And it's really maracas bait. A lot of sound. It's really like a nasty and noisy. And I love that. It's like Metallica and Lady Gaga. What is happening is totally mayhem. We found the fish and it's that fish in almost every cast right now. And the most the most part of the fish are over 30. This one, oh this one, this one then came off, but it was a small one. It's it's just insane. The birds are chasing everywhere on the surface. The perch are chasing everywhere from behind it. Crazy. And we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no people, no nothing, no boats, nothing. It's only us. The Swedish nature at its best. Now I talk too much, I can't hook the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's a, this one's for this snaska hook. Good one. Ah, same size as the other ones. Oh, this one's Ooh, brown. Pretty. This one's pretty. Exactly 30. Exactly. Not more, not less. Ah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Not as nice, but about the same size. About the same size. This is a 38. This is a tiny bit longer, actually. This is a... They are both 38. There we go. The water is totally boiling outside of us. So we will let this go and take two more. That's 40. Oh, yeah, that. There. There. I'm a pop tank. Sorry. After half an hour with no action, we uh, moved to the uh, ledge, uh, to the deep part, uh, and we found casillion, bazillion small roaches, and now we have some surface activity outside of here. What? Whoa! <laughs> Small fish, but... Yeah, well, it might count. No, <laughs> oh, well. no, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, well, it might be a small fish, but it's just... <laughs> look at that. <laughs> he ate it with confidence. <laughs> yeah, the adrenaline just yep. starts pumping. Oh, behind you, ooh. Oh. Okay, pop a time. Pop. Hammer time. Oh, with the, with the patisa. They're everywhere. Yeah. It's fucking on. And it's gone. <gasps> okay, we got five minutes uh, to the report. <laughs> I think 
we're not really in the game right now. I think we're way behind. Yeah. The only thing we can do at the moment, Daniel, is stick on it. Yeah. And hopefully these fish will eventually eat our flies. These popper fish, I mean, they are, they're feeding, right? You can see that. But they won't take any. So we're doing something wrong. It's soon 12 o'clock and it's time for the first phone call. The team will call each other and reveal their amount of fish over 30 centimeters and the total length of the three longest fish. This might change the tactic for some teams, knowing what the other teams are doing. Adam, what do you think about the other teams? Uh, because we, I think we gave it away in the last two hours. There's a possibility that we have a catfish on the line, which is cool. But now it's uh, really stuck into the grass and probably holding the place. So one thing you can do is to just let it loose, don't pull, and eventually it will yeah, start it's to still move. On. It's still on. At 12 o'clock, all teams must call each other, no matter what. Fredrik and Mark are therefore forced to fight the fish during the report. Otherwise, they risk being disqualified. Hello everybody, uh, this is Daniel from Vision Fly Dressing. We have the huge staggering amount of fish, two, and total length 76 centimeters. My name is Vincent from team Fox Raid Salmo. We caught two perches with a total length of 64 centimeters. Hello, this is uh, teamsporting.se. Uh, we have a total number of 98 perch and we have a total length of 118 on the top three. This is team Catch with Care. We have the amount number of fish 21, 2, 1 and our length in total is 119. Okay, this is Frederick, uh, team Gunky Elex. We have uh, one fish for a total amount of 48. Very nice one. Good Congratulations. Fish. Good fish. Oh, they're hunting. We need to fish. They're hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Nah. Yeah. Okay. That's... Um... Well, that's quite encouraging. 98. I knew they would have the number point because they're fishing that lake, I think. And there's going to be, they're probably going to catch about 200, 200 fish today because of the high weather. 98 fish already. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to catch uh, some, some bigger fish. That's what we need to. We have the fish. We just need to find those three big ones. Yeah. But the 48 centimeter for Frederick in Holland, that could be. That could be a fat one. They said probably way over two kilo. Way to go, Team Gunky. Nice fish. That's a brilliant fish. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. 48 centimeters. Yeah, but one. Yeah. So it means we did a good job. So <laughs> no, not yet. Not, not yet, yet, but came off. I think it was a carp. Yeah, sorry guys, we missed this one. I guess it was a carp. And the Yeah, that we are keep not... us. Keep us busy for the phone report. Yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. But we we call you next time. The race ain't over, man. Oh. And we're gonna choo choo steamroller. Come on, babe. Let's have some lunch. Yeah, we have some lunch and uh... some giant perch. What a great start for this competition. Sporting had one hour of madness and managed to catch 98 perch over 30 centimeters. Quite impressive, guys. CWC fishing team have the longest combined length resulting in 119 centimeters. If they can replace their 35 centimeter fish with a high 40, they have a good chance of snatching the big fish points. At the moment, Team Sporting have one point and CWC fishing team have one point. This is very exciting. Whatever you do, don't miss the next episode of Perch Pro that will be released next week. 
We will also have a pre-screening of the final episodes on Sunday the 7th of October in Sporting Store in Örebro. You can find more information about the screening down below in the video description. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe and don't miss the next episode. If you like this competition, make sure to press thumbs up and like the video and help us win the world. Tight lines everyone, see you next week. This is super nice. The perts are nibbling. <laughs>